All right, let's move over then to the Oprah interview. What was your perspective on that? Uh, the, 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 the Harry and Meghan. Yes. Oh, it, it, um, it, it, it's wonderful. I don't know how you feel about royalty, but that uh, it, it, it's just the wheels have come off, really, haven't they? The house of <laughs> basically. Um, and uh, Harry's still taking swipes at his father, uh, which is interesting. Um, and um, I, what interests me in everybody always says, well, of course, Prince Charles is going to be the next king. Um, and I don't think so. Because since the glorious of glorious revolution of 1688, um, there's a thing called the Accession Committee, who have to invite the next monarch to, to take the throne. And uh, they have to issue a proclamation, which says that um, with one mind, one heart and one voice, we pick so-and-so to be the next king. Um, which means that essentially the committee have to be unanimous. The, the, the committee um, comprises sort of all sorts of dignitaries like the Lord Mayor of London and stuff, but also the, the entire Privy Council. We all know that there's one Privy Councillor who's a dedicated Republican, which is Jeremy Corbyn. And if he says no, then presume, I don't know what happens legally, then I suppose there has to be some sort of constitutional convention where we have to decide where to go from there, whether we're going to ditch the monarchy and be a republic or I, how that this pans out. I, there may be some sort of cosy um, British sweeping under the carpet, I don't know, but someone will take it to the Supreme Court at least, won't they, and say, you know, how legal uh, is, is he being king? Do you I, don't, think... I don't think that we're going to go to the barricades for Prince Charles, I'm sorry. <laughs> Do you not think it would be a cunning strategy for a Republican to let Charles ascend because that would destroy the monarchy? I think perhaps if it went to Charles's son, if it skipped Charles, that might save the monarchy. Yes, but 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 uh, if, if if Corbyn or oh, and there are other, that there are other Republicans in the uh, Privy Council, they would say no to anyone. <laughs> okay, they, 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 they can't pick and choose. Uh, that, that's all over then. What do you think about Harry blaming the BBC and Bashir for his mum's death? Well, this is powerful nonsense, isn't it? Um, that uh, it, it, Princess Diet had already cooperated with Andrew Morton uh, on the book, right? Which 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 um, told all. Uh, there was nothing particularly new in in Bashir's. Interview. It was just that that it was it was on TV, and Prince Charles had, had done his interview beforehand, uh, spilling the beans too. It, it, it's absurd to, to 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 say that 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 was responsible for her death, unless Bashir was on the, that motorbike and shot the driver. Maybe I don't know. What are your thoughts on Meghan Markle and what she said in the interview to Oprah? Well, I, I've, I've always thought she, that, 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 that she's uh, rather nice um, and, and uh, uh, nothing against her at all. But, but uh, when you join a family like that, who've just been born to privilege and, and you know, they, they never go anywhere that, that doesn't smell of fresh paint, right? Um, there's, they've got to be out of touch, haven't they? I, I always feel kind of far, sorry for Prince Andrew, in a way, because as soon as you can walk and talk, everyone's bowing and scraping to you. What, what view of the world are you going to have? She, she comes from a more real place. And, and obviously, uh, when she got stuck in Kensington Palace, well, she can't make out what's possibly happening to her. Again, I feel sorry for her. Well, some of those rooms in the crown do look a bit musty. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and um, so regarding... But this, whole, but this whole culture of deference, when you're surrounded by, by, by people tugging their forelocks all the time and, 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 and whispering behind your back, 
because you're not really properly royal. And what's more, oh my God, you're slightly coloured. I mean, please. So you're saying that that um, these this could be the root causes of Andrew's arrogance is being born into this clique where all that matters are titles and status and you think that's warped him psychologically? Well, look, he, he, he goes to tea with his mum, Adur, and she gives him another medal, right? This is like, <laughs> <I mean>, really. <laughs> what other members of the royal family have you wrote books about? Um, D Diana Harry, um, um, Prince Philip. Um, and what I, was... I, I, I don't know, a long time ago, I did a book called The Sex Lives of the Kings and Queens of England. Oh, wow. And then an, another one, just of general uh, interest in Kings and Queens. Um, what year did your die one come out and what was um basically the plot of of that book was it just her life no it was it was again i i, I collected uh, things that she had said uh, about herself and, uh, and other people it was it was in in her her voice and the same with the prince philip book actually it was what he says that he said about himself and the rest of the royal family and what he thought of us peasants um <laughs> Have you read Princess Diana in her own words? And in, in particular, where she alludes to the possibility of dying in a car crash? Yes, I did. I, I did. I did go through that. Um, but I've always thought I was going to die in a plane crash and uh, things, things happen. So you think it was just coincidence? Yes, I, 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 I did a book on crime scenes and studied the, 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 the Diana case quite a lot. Interesting. I, but, the, the real thing there is if there was any sort of cover-up, why the hell would the Republican French help the, the British Royal Family out? Why would they cover it up? They would <laughs> they, they would just pull the chain, wouldn't they? Yes. Um, <laughs> David, I'll just say I has a few things to say on this subject and he may disagree with you, but that's a whole other story and we've run out of time. And you've got over 200 books. Sounds like you've got a wealth of information on other subjects. So I would love to get you back on at some point if you're up for that, Nigel. Got for, it. for everybody who's watching this right now, we're going to put your links in the description box below the video. So we'll probably put, put end up putting your Amazon author page down there. If people okay. want to contact you, Nigel, what, what's your preferred method? Are you on the socials? Uh, I am, but I, I, I really don't do much with Facebook or Twitter or, or Instagram. Um, I'm, I'm, I, I, it's against my religion to, to, to write for free. Exactly, and it detracts. <laughs> I mean, if you're a man on a mission of 200 plus books, <laughs> social media is just an absolute waste of time, isn't it, when you could be increasing your output? <laughs> <laughs> so if people want to contact you, do you have a website or anything? Yes, I do. I wish I, uh, you have the link to that. I wish you could okay, put we'll, we'll, we'll put that below the video. All right, well, you have a great day. I hope you enjoy the rest of the cricket. Okay. And thank you very much for spending time with us this evening. Nigel. It's been an absolute delight. Thank you.